previously on Leland Clausen's Storytime. Like, make as much money as you can. <laughs> this was a good memory. This is a bad way to start the story. And don't ever lie to me again. So don't wear your seatbelts, you guys. It's wrong, first of all. Again, I'm getting way off track. Is that a thing? There was a... The, uh, these... these uh, I gotta cut some of that. He's a crazy driver! He's a crazy driver! Uh, how is this 14 minutes already? Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna just make up names. It's Tron and Slasher. Slash Nose Tron. Uh, Earl. And then Johnny and Sally. I was just guessing. Oh, he handled that well. I was just not good. I'm sorry, everybody, if you were there. I apologize. Oh, what is happening, everybody? Um, it's another story. It's another story time. This is exciting. This is about uh, a mouse. I, I, I had no good hook. The time a mouse made a nest in my tent. I guess that's a hook. Is it? I don't know anymore. So um, that's what the story's about. I'm, I'm a, uh, oh, subscribe. Did you think your computer froze? Did you, was you like, hey, did it freeze? Because this is a lot of dead air. No, that was just dead air. Uh, hit the notification bell as well. <laughs> subscribe and hit the notification bell. I had to give you a clean one in case I had to edit out that last garbage. So I'm talking about the mouse nest. Uh, tree planting, I talked about it a few times. I've mentioned it a few times. I've given you a few stories if you follow. Um, but this one happened, uh, actually this one happened right before my wife and I, uh, I guess that fall we got married. So this would have been 94, summer of 94. And I was a foreman. I had tree planted a few times and this I took out a crew of my own. Um, I, I was a terrible foreman. We're getting close to the truth. So anyway, the whole story about this planting thing, this Telqua Smithers, um, I was having a trouble. I, I was having a trouble. Even though I was raised men and night, yo. I, I don't, I thought I could make more money if I was a foreman, but it's all, it's piecework, right? So you got to plant more trees to make more money. And if your crew is good and you get a percentage of each of them, it's like multi-level marketing. <laughs> But I, I, I just couldn't motivate the crews and the, or the people I selected. I, I don't know where I went wrong. I just wasn't doing great. Um, and the zipper on my fly, my tent fly, the zipper uh, for the screen had ripped. So it ripped and it was open. I was like, whatever. Uh, I'll shut the main thing. It'll be fine. Uh, well, it keeps everything out except for mice. So during the day, I would uh, this mouse started going in there, and he started making a nest in the corner. It was a big, a big dome tent. Seats like seats, sleeps like six or something, but they don't really seats sleep six. All we need is a tent. They just they're big enough that you could fit six smaller people in there. Um, but I just slept in there with all my stuff, and but uh, in the corner there was this mouse's nest every day. So I'd grab it, I'd get home. I grab it, I chuck it out, shut everything, go to sleep. Well, after a couple days, this mouse was getting kind of tired of this. Like he was like, yeah, I'm doing all this work. Like I'm working all day and then this guy throws it out. So he started coming in at night to, to find out what's going on. This from a mouse. And uh, I, I, I stuck some thing against the, I stuck some stuff to, to stop him from getting in, but he was just, he was still getting in. There was no way. Once the tent was even just a little slither, he's just, I'm a mouse. Right? Uh, so I, uh, one night, it came to a crescendo one night um, where I'm sleeping. Here comes the good part. And, because uh, I'm just sleeping anyway, and he's scattered around a couple times and I heard him and, and I chased him out. I'm like, get here! And then, but then one night he came in and he was like, no, I'm not going to be scared this time. And he came up and actually not nibbled on his my ear, but he put his nose. Yes, God, nibbling the air now. Right in my ear. And I was like, yeah. Ah, and then he scooted off. And I was like, ah, I'm not going to be able to sleep if this thing is wandering around. And, but I was so tired because I've been working so hard. So I just put headphones on. 
like the the one that goes they go in the ears but they were it doesn't matter i put headphones in and uh i just stuck the headphones in cranked on the it was a walkman and i just cranked it up and, and and i'm not gonna let that bug me i'm just gonna listen to some music and fall asleep and then he actually tugged on it like he he sniffed around and then tugged on the and i was like ah! it's freaking me out i was like ah! and now i'm waiting for him right I, it's in, it's, and, and, and so I decided to, uh, like, the only way I'm going to get sleep is if I kill this thing. I'm going to kill that unspeakable thing once and for all. So I had a big old flashlight in my hand, and I sat up. I sat up in my bed, in, in my sleeping bag, and I waited for this thing to come. And then I was just going to club him. That was my, that was my plan. Well, kill him! Kill him! Yeah, find yeah. a blunt object! Yeah. That was a terrible plan! And, but I started, I was just so tired. I was starting to fall asleep as I was holding the, this, uh, <laughs> this flashlight and it slipped from my hand and dropped, but this is as I was sleeping. So it literally fell onto me and I thought that was a creature because I was all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm flailing around, <laughs> freaking out, thinking there's a massive mouse on my, and it was a flashlight and I was like, oh man. I'm never going to get any sleep tonight. This thing's going to bug me all night. So I grabbed my uh, sleeping bag. I, I left and I just went to one of the guys that was, was planting for me and I woke him up and I was like, dude, I'm sleeping in your tent tonight. <laughs> I just crawled in. If I see a boundary, I eat a boundary. Threw my sleeping bag down and went to sleep because uh, I was so exhausted. And that's, uh, and the mouse won. <laughs> set up camp in there and I slept in in the buddy's tent for like it was like a final week that we were there uh, and uh, the mouse won he had this massive tent to himself I think he got roughly what he deserved none of these stories end well do they subscribe to hear more hit the notification bell I may start posting political stuff because they seem to do really well.